Hi everybody, welcome to day 37. Uh, firstly, thank you all for the comments made about the chattering. I was going to give up, but uh, you've all taken so much effort to give me some advice and uh, ideas that I'm going to persevere with it. I did try a little bit later on, and I think you can just see it's starting to come now. It's a work in progress, another one. It's quite nice, that one. So, uh, we've just got to keep practicing. So, uh, thank you all for your advice. Uh, right, today's uh, video is going to be uh, some uh, tea balls with black slip wiped on them and turning them. Um, when I'm doing these um, videos, I film a lot of things I do during the day and I don't use a lot of it uh, because I don't know what's going to be relevant. You can't sort of go back and think, oh, that was a good idea and I'll refilm that. You can't be done. So I do film things as they go along and there's maybe a couple of hours of film to look at each day just to um, edit through so you know it takes about an hour and a half just to whisk through all that and pick out 10 minutes so uh, but it fills the day up <laughs> during lockdown so uh, today I did the throwing of the the pots a couple of days ago and it was sort of uh, I didn't get to use the, the footage of it uh, so um, luckily today I've got the throwing and the turning of the one piece so you get to see the whole the whole um, process right up to it uh, drying out and being ready to, for biscuit firing so uh, here's today's video Right, I was going to just do some turning today but um, it's so unbelievably damp and miserable here yeah. Snowing quite heavily, and the, even with the dehumidifier on and the heat running here, nothing's drying out. So um, I'm going to do a bit, a bit of throwing. These um, the last firing, there was some really uh, nice white nuka with the blue cobalt underneath over a black slip. And they've, uh, they've sold quite well on the Etsy site. So I thought I'd just make a few more to replace them. found that wiping it on and then wiping it up gives some nice textures so we'll wipe it on wipe it up precious about it. gather up all the extra splashed uh, slip because it's uh, a bit difficult to time consuming to make actually so I can save it a little bit
Right, I'm just having to tap centre these the old fashioned way, the Giffen grip. Um, because it's got an, an uneven out, outer surface, doesn't hold it square, so it's always good to uh, learn both skills. This bit, oops, unfortunately that happens. I don't stick it on with, um, oops. I don't stick it on with uh, wads of clay because it marks the surface. And this is a bit soft, this clay, but I'll just need to get them done. But if you put a little bit of water on the wheel head and then a, a water on the bit, a bit of water on the rim, uh, it sticks down with the vacuum. As long as you're not heavy handed like I am. I want a narrowish uh, foot ring on this. Really like the contrast, the crisp contrast between the edge of the black clay and the normal clay. It's a really nice little half round, uh, circular turning tool and it gets a really nice corner inside here. As usual round it off with my fingers. It just pops off. The problem also that this causes though is it gives a flat edge there so you just have to redo the rim so that it's rounded and not a square sharp edge. And there's two reasons for that. One it's it's that it's it's not doesn't look very good and also the glaze that I use has a tendency to split and you give it a chance to split and it will. Because it's a heavy glaze and it, and it sags. So uh just round that off and um, <coughs> excuse me put my stamp on it that's a nice pot that one nice slip there make sure it's nice and round ish Okay, that's it. That's today's video. I hope that was uh, interest, uh, interesting to you. Uh, today's book, um, it's The Art of Firing. It's The Art of Firing. And uh, what made me buy this book was you know, I look for uh, in various bookshops over the years. And, um, and uh, it says, um, this book is a guide to the principles involved in firing kilns. While the author accepts that potters tend to fire kilns by the seat of their pants, he firmly believes that a sound knowledge of the science involved is necessary to underpin the intuitive approach. So I quite like that, exp that, that explanation. I use an intuitive approach to firing my kiln. Uh, so I bought it. I just like that thing on the back. But uh, it is a good book. And uh, it's worth uh, looking at. And uh, if you can get a hold of it, well, that's what it is. Niels Lou. The Art of Firing. There you go. See you tomorrow.